Hi guys, it's Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. <laughs> so, um, somebody's feeling betrayed. Um, I hear it's because they, someone didn't give them the reaction that they were expecting or didn't do what they thought they were going to do. And because of it, they feel betrayed. Libra. Uh, Candy. Sandra. Virgo. I'm proud of you. Sagittarius. You're doing better than I would have done. Taurus. Gemini. Leo. And Aries. Don't give up. You have no idea what's coming for you. Hope. Daniel. Whitney. The love you've given out all these years is finally coming back to you. Don't give up now. I have addictions you don't know about. Orlando. Stalker. Daniel 1010. Cancer. Ohio. Sagittarius, so that's double confirmation on Sagittarius. There's nothing you could have done. It was just my time. Big D. Drummer. Your brother's fine. The 90s. Ruth 116. So I feel like that's confirmation on um, someone getting their Boaz or getting the love that they they deserve. Aquarius. Revelation 5 5. Call your sister. You were meant to shine. Even though she doesn't act like it, she does love you. I have loved you for a thousand lifetimes. I'm trying to find myself to be a better man for you. Siberia, somebody's feeling really alone right now. They're wishing they hadn't left somebody out in the cold. But it's not completely um, selfless, so. 4 4 4 on the clock, Kentucky. A part of the right reason they wish they're wishing they hadn't left somebody out in the cold is because what they their plans didn't go through as they thought they would. But they do have remorse and they do have love for this person. 
somebody's in their 30s. They watch you on YouTube and it pisses the one that they picked, up, picked over you, Big Mad. Pray and meditate. They can't take your love away, is what I just heard. I should have told you I'm not capable of monogamy. Somebody's in their 60s. Sarah. Just pray. Just stop and breathe. Candles. I swear he should have been back by now. Somewhere over the rainbow. Gemini. Austin. Ain't no bitch in my blood. December. Something could have happened in December. Why is he not back yet? It's two women talking. I feel like one's a practitioner and the other one is someone who paid for a love spell or paid to get like someone to come back into their life and they're not back in their life and they're getting mad at the practitioner because they feel like this person should have been back. Why isn't he back yet? Um, and this practitioner is getting like irritated because they're like, look, it's magic, not direct science. You are my king. You lied to me. I want my money back. I didn't lie to you. You lied to me. You knew he was protected. I saw your light and I was afraid to change. I I was comfortable in my darkness. Undercover gay. Boys to men. May. Jasmine. Lindsay. It's your fault. Somebody's blaming Lindsay. Aries. It's something to do with the eclipse. Whoever this is that's blaming someone else knows that if someone's not back before the, the eclipse that the magic didn't work and it, they won't be coming back. Get a Bible and read it. Tennessee. DJ. I just heard someone say I'm not afraid. I didn't need them anyways. Virgo. I was embarrassed and jealous of you at the same time. Mark 1111. 11. Kim. Jude, Jude 22. Linda. New York City, Atlanta. Leo. June. Something significant about late spring, early summer. You did what to him? Blue car. Actress. Jonathan.
I'm not gay, but I love you. I've never felt this way about anyone. This doesn't make any sense. Start that business. I tried to quit you, Raven, but there's no leaving you behind. You're always in my mind. Everywhere I go, all I do is think of you. Connecticut, your Boaz is on the way. Jerome, you are my queen. Sam, being with you is like being in heaven. You don't compare to him. Stop trying to be like him. You will never be him. Who's the bitch now? Why don't you love me? Because you're not him. I feel, like my, I feel like my nose is bleeding. Somebody could be dealing with nosebleeds. I was really weird. I felt like, I literally felt like blood running out of my nose. If you go back to him, I'm gonna tell. Everyone will know. Nine of Swords. So whatever this person knows about this, your person or whoever that re resonates with, it must be something pretty bad because it's got them in all stressed out, anxiety. They're having nightmares. They're they're stuck. Um. This could be a Queen of Pentacles that's doing this to this person. Virgo did come out earlier. Deer and um, birds can be significant. Whatever is going on, this woman feels like she's got the world in, in her, at her advantage. Like she's got secrets, the secrets she's got or the information she knows is enough to turn this person's world upside down or it's enough to keep them under her control and she's not afraid to use it. I just heard my world will never be the same. Someone's fighting, like physically, in a living room. Because whoever it is that's trying to blackmail or control the other person, the other person's finally over it. Saying, I don't care what you think you know, what you, I don't care what you tell, I'll tell him myself. Knight of Swords, someone rushing in, shifting a relationship.
someone's rushing in with some news. Maybe this person is saying, fuck this Queen of Pentacles. Um, I'll just, I'm going to go rush in and tell myself I can't live like this any longer. Because the Queen of Pentacles is just as guilty as whoever this uh, hanged man is. Energy is. And they they just can't handle the stress, the anxiety, or the sleepless nights anymore. And, or this bitch fucking in their ear threatening to like out them for whatever they did with the devil. Someone is obsessed. And it could be the Queen of Pentacles obsessed with this uh, person who's having sleepless nights. Or it could be this person having sleepless nights obsessed with a third party. Or what they did to a third party. Or this third party finding out about it. So, with the devil being here and the Queen of Pentacles, it could also be a Capricorn. Pisces with the hangman. Four swords. Much needed time for self. Rest after hard work. Yeah, someone needs to take some time to themselves. This Queen of Pentacles uh, energy is really fucking... She's done a number on them. Small steps to improvement. Starting to see gains. Don't give up. Seven of Pentacles. So whatever you've invested in, whatever you've been working on, it is... You're going to start seeing physical manifestation of its success. Judgment. Someone placed judgment on someone or something, and now they're wishing they hadn't. Because the judgment they placed on this person or situation is exactly what they got. So if it in a third-party situation, and um, this person... Left one person for another person because they judged the person they were with. They were wrong about the person they were with, and the judgments they placed on them is exactly what the person they ran to is. Queen of Swords. Someone is intelligent, independent, educated, a powerhouse. And I think that's why. This person that's now in strange stress and anxiety and having nightmares, that's why they ran from this person because they this person intimidated them. They were scared of them. They were afraid they weren't enough for them. Five of Wands, conflict, um, usually external conflict, which uh, there is uh, in one situation at least because I, mean, I saw two, a man and a woman fighting in the living room. Um but I think a lot of it's internal conflict too, because they know what they've done and they don't know how, they don't know why they did it, how they could have allowed themselves to do it, and they don't know how to fix it, and and they want to. The remorse and the regret is, and the guilt is too much to, to carry. Chicken. Yeah, they threw away or they ignored a gift from God. And was too busy with these three cups down here that were washed up, that were about to get taken under because judgment had already been placed on them. And this person was too busy looking at that and they let what was really for them pass them by. Juggling. The number eight could be significant. Something could have taken place in August, or someone could be born in August. Someone is wanting to partner up with a lover or an ex lover um, for a project or uh, work. But they also, they want to get back in good standings with them romantically as well. And they, they're juggling how to do, like, how they're going to go about it. Because they see this person's worth, their potential, and they just cannot believe they let, they let them get away.
Two of Swords. Pause for balance, thinking on situation. Have faith in your own ideas, wisdom. So whatever it is that you're thinking about doing or wanting to do, do it. Have faith that you are, your intuition is correct and that you're being guided by, by the right voice. Um, stop crying over spilled milk. You know, in this cup, there's three cups that are spilled out and spilled over, but there's two that are standing up. So stop crying about what you can't change and go and, cha and fix what you can. Eight of Wands, sudden love affair, fast and passionate, split second decisions, rapid gains. So if you trust your intuition, you trust your inner knowing, go after what it's telling you to go after because it's going to work out for you and it's going to happen fast. Hermit, Virgo Energy again. Needing time alone, more independence, seek counsel from wise ones. So this could be a Virgo that's dealing with the stress and anxiety or it could be a Virgo that caused the stress and anxiety because they're a jealous bitch who um, tried to steal somebody away from the true love. Two of Wands. Someone knows now who is for them, who's going to help them get to where they want to be in life, and they are they're grabbing the wand or their wand, and they're charging straight ahead. But they know they got to get rid of one of these birds up here. And it almost looks like that's what they're doing with the wand. It looks like they're pointing it toward one of the birds to shoot it out of the sky. Because they know that that third party has to go in order for them to truly get what they want and, and to keep it. To get justice with their Queen of Swords. Libra energy. Hardcore. Knight of Pentacles. And the Fool. Aries. Yeah, something is getting eclipsed out with this eclipse. Um, something that... Someone is refusing to let go of their past. And this eclipse is going to force them to do it. Um, because... There is something that is supposed to have already come together by now. And... Um, this eclipse is going to make that happen. Four of Wands. There will be happiness and celebration. Um, but because someone just cannot decide what to do, the universe is going to make the decision for them. And what was supposed to have already taken place will be will take place because of whatever happens. Because of the, the universe stepping in or God stepping in and um, making this decision for this person that refused to let go of... Uh, what doesn't serve them any longer. King of Cups. Eight of Cups. The Empress. Taurus and water energy. So Taurus, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody could be afraid to walk away from somebody because, oh wow, King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles could be afraid to walk away from this Empress because they, they got him pregnant, but they really want to run back to this king of cups or they're trying to work from their heart space because they don't want to be with this empress they want to be with somebody else but they feel obligated to this interest empress because she's pregnant no she's not or it's not your kid the magician is a trickster the mag magician is a witch the magician uh, is a master manipulator um, Gemini energy. Yeah. 
Phobius Magician energy is. They're using this person's um, lust, this person's uh, sex addiction, this person's heartbreak. The, this, they're using all that against this person to try and keep them trapped. Uh, and this pregnancy, if it's even really a pregnancy, it might actually just be a lie altogether. But even if it's not a lie, I, don't, I do believe that the person's pregnant by someone else, then they're trying to convince that the person's pregnant by someone other than the person that they're trying to trap if they're actually pregnant, but they might not even be pregnant, but they're going to wish they hadn't done it because if they did, if they are pregnant, they got pregnant on purpose to trap this person. Um, and this person's not going to, it's not going to work there and they're going to be a single parent. Um, but I hear that's karma for this person, this female always talking shit about single women, single mothers. And that's why it's happening to her because she's talked so much shit about her friends and family and other women who um, are single mothers that this is the universe's way of getting back at her for being so judgmental and so evil. King of Wands. So the We got a man who uh, is upgrading or leveling up really fast. That's three king energies, like, within. But I'm getting, like, it's all the same energy, though. It's a man who's going from his heart's place to his, to his mind, to his, to his wand. He's shifting... He's, he's everywhere. He doesn't know wh wh what to think or where, or where to think from. His heart, his mind, or his dick. And this person, this magician character, they know that and they're using everything they've got in their power to keep him, um, to keep him weak, to keep him stepping into, tapping into his strength. There's the affinity symbol again, or the number eight. Leo energy. Yeah, but whatever this is, uh, hollow victory, short-lived victory, um, it didn't last long, or it's, and the cycle is being closed, Capricorn energy, uh, and whoever did this, they are going to reap damn near instant karma. And actually, I think it was pretty much instant karma. Um, because they're already reaping karma because of the fighting and the stress and the anxiety, but they're refusing to stop working on keeping this person stuck because they just, they want to win that bad. They don't want, they don't want balance to be restored to this love, this union. Swans are significant to someone. Um, yeah, they don't want this person happy at all either one of these people. So they're still working to kill this union, this relationship, or to kill one of the people in it. But both of these people are very strong-willed. They, they, their love is it's divine. Like, these people will, they're, they're soulmates, they're twins. Their souls always find each other. But the only way to keep them apart is, would be to kill one of them. And if you do that, you will never, you will never find balance for eternity. If someone goes to that extreme, they'll wish that their soul was never created. I love you. If you guys love me as much as I love you, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.